Authorities at St. Lawrence University have dashed the hopes of more than 80 students who are set to graduate on 1st of December. A recent resolution by the University Council deferred the graduation to unspecified debt. The affected students were studying courses like Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, Diploma in Journalism and Mass Communication, and Bachelor of Tourism. Our marks, our results are crazy. You add up things and they don't match with what is written on your, your provisional transcript. You add up your CGPA and it is different from what you can add up with a calculator. Like the system is crazy. According to a letter from the University Vice Chancellor, Dr. Frank Ambaga Kachinda, the decision was made after what he called a delay by the National Council for Education to allow the university to teach the specific courses. We have a student from South Tanzania whose parents are already in a bus coming to Kampala for graduation. Well, like, what do we do? Should we call our parents and tell them not to come? What do we do? In a letter to the Dean of Students, the university wrote to the National Council for Education to speed up the gazetting process. The Vice Chancellor, who declined to speak on record, confirmed the university's resolution. Our efforts to talk to officials from the National Council for Education were futile. One of the concerns that the National Council for Education raised for not gazetting the university to teach certain courses was its reported admission of unqualified students in some courses. They let us do everything. There is no way a university can let a student apply. You register a student, he starts a course, yeah? When you don't know where you're taking that student, you get... Us, it's like our parents, uh, our sponsors are aware of that you are going to graduate. Most of them are booking for tickets, are coming from far. They are all ready for us. We don't know how to, we can tell them that we are not going to graduate. But the affected students, the majority of whom are international students, have vowed to leave no stone unturned to ensure they graduate. The graduation is set to take place on first next month. We came here knowing that we are going to be graduate at the end of the day or the end of our course. But then it turned out to be the other way around. Because we have laid a waste even our time, in fact. So they have to work on us to make us graduate. The unanswered question is when will the National Council for Education will give a go-ahead of these students to graduate when the courses they offered are not licensed. Secondly, will the university refund all the money students paid in the four years they were at the university studying? Ivan Chimurichigozi, NTV.